The Bay Area's rock station, 1077 The Bone. Oh, that's how it ends right there. Oh, my God, that was quick. It's a cowbell song, too. You notice that? That's cold. That's right. Because, you know, every day I do, uh, we have an all-request noon uh, hour at noon. It's called The Hot Lunch, and we uh, we start with a blank page. We ask the boneheads to fill in the blanks with sure. their requests. And every day we come up with a different theme, and they kind of have to fit with the theme. And uh, occasionally we will do the cowbell the theme. The cowbell theme. So you got Mississippi Queen. Exactly. you got Don't Fear the Reaper. Exactly. Uh a couple of good ones in there, yeah. You see, the same thing happens to me. I say, well, what are we going to do? And then I put it out to the boneheads, and they just come through with all this stuff. <laughs> so we'll have to remember that one. Best lead breaks. Anyway, that is, uh, oh, I like that. That's Cold Ethel from Alice Cooper from the uh, Welcome to My Nightmare album here on Classic Vinyl. Now, Ann Landers actually wrote a whole column about that song. You mean the great Ann Landers? Yes, saying, you know, that it was the, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was about necrophilia, and uh, this is what's wrong with America, and... At the time, I was going, if there's an outbreak of necrophilia, I will take responsibility. Okay. I don't think you're getting the joke. I think you may be missing the humor in this song. Ann Landers, <laughs> is uh, is she dead yet? I hope so. <laughs> I mean, no, I, I don't know. Alice Cooper is my guest in the studio. The Theater of Death Tour arrives at the Warfield here in San Francisco tonight. Uh, we were talking about the fact that you've been clean and sober for 28 years. 28 years, yeah. What would you tell people that have a problem with this or that substance, drinking or drugs or anything? How do you get clean? Well, it, it, you know, first of all, when you go in, you don't go in to slow down. You go in to stop. I mean, with me, it was like uh, the, guy, the doctor says, look, you've got, I don't know, three weeks. He said, if you keep drinking, you're going to end up with your buddies, with the, the Morrison and the Hendrix gang and you know, Keith Moon and all your buddies. Uh, and I actually wanted to make more albums than that, so I quit. But, I mean, it was one of those things where it was totally taken away. You don't believe it. If you don't believe in miracles, I came out of the hospital, right, and never once had a craving. And it had nothing to do with a cure. It was a pure miracle. God just took it away from me. So it's black and white. There's no in between. There's no in between. So I mean, what? I, never, you... I was expecting cravings. You know, I mean, like you know, you, you're, I'm a classic alcoholic, and I sat there waiting and waiting and waiting. It just never showed up. But what do you tell somebody that needs help? Can they do it on their own, or do they need help? No, they can't do it on their own. They can't because the the alcohol speaks a lot louder than anything, any logic that you have in your head. The drugs speak a lot louder. You know, and don't. Please don't think alcohol is not a, a drug. It's probably the most destructive drug there is. Uh, I mean, I, I wish I could sit down and have a beer once in a while. That'd be great, but I, I can't. I'm, I'm one of those trigger guys. If I had one beer, I'd, be, I'd have a bottle of whiskey hidden in the house by that afternoon. So I can't really even have a beer. But, uh, you know, if you're an alcoholic, you're, you're going to die from it. It's just that easy. And you need help. You need help. You've got to go in and you've got to want to quit. You just don't go in and say, I want to slow down. I know guys that have been in, in, you know, 35 times to, you know, rehab. And all they're doing is they're just having a, you know, I'm going to take a week off. They're just faking it. Yeah, they're just faking it. That's all. Alice Cooper is my guest in the studio. We only got him for a couple more minutes here. Um, I'm absolutely shocked you're not out on the golf course today. I am too. <laughs> uh, the <laughs> Well, you've, you've probably played all over the world. What's your favorite course to play? I, you know, uh... Well, you've got some good ones here. Olympic is awfully good. Yep. Um, but if I was going to pick one, I'd probably pick Muirfield in Columbus, Ohio. Really? Yeah. The, for some reason, that golf course is just the perfect golf course, I think. Uh, you're going to be in Vegas. I know you'll be playing golf there. Every day. It's heaven there. Every day. Awesome. Probably not in makeup, but, you know. <laughs> if I ever got on the seniors tour, I would go in full Alice. If I could, If I could play with those guys... I would go in full Alice. You could hang with them. And I can play with them, but I mean, you, I wouldn't keep my card long. You know, those guys, you got to shoot 68 every day. You know, I could keep it around par, but I, I, I wouldn't stay out there very long. But if I did, I would, <laughs> would totally wear the makeup. That, I'd be putting snakes in their bags. I'd be doing everything. That would know? be funny. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm going to play a track from uh, your most recent album, Along Came a Spider. So uh, you were telling me that Slash plays on this thing? Slash plays guitar on this. Uh, this is a story of a very inefficient serial killer. He thinks he's Hannibal Lecter, but he has all kinds of flaws. Falls in love with one of his victims, so he can't kill her. By the way, I, I heard <laughs> that uh, you might be making an appearance on Slash's new solo album. Is that true? Actually, yeah. I wrote, wrote a song. Actually, my son and I wrote uh, one of the songs. Oh, really? Yeah. And when's that coming out? Uh, I, I, they were mixing it the last time I heard. 
but uh, it's a song called Baby Can't Drive. Alice Cooper, uh, great pleasure to see you again. Thank you so much for coming in. Well, thank you. Now I'm thinking about cutting my hair. See, when I see this picture and I see... Oh, I just handed him my rookie card from 72. He was a handsome son of a gun, wasn't he? (laughs) Look at that. (laughs) Yeah, but what happened to the hair? (laughs) I I don't know. (laughs) So there are still tickets available for tonight's show at the Warfield. Um, If you see me, drop by and say hi. Um, If you see Alice, don't throw anything at him. You, You say you die four times tonight. Oh, they kill me four times. Will there be any beheadings? Yes, I get hung. They 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 put a giant hypodermic needle through me. Yikes! Um, on poison and uh, and there's a, the cage of death. The cage of death. And I survive it every night. Hey, by the way, I do have a couple of tickets to give away for tonight's show. If you would like to be my personal guest, call me at one triple eight three zero three bone. Before I let you go, what about the song "Vengeance Is Mine" with Slash? Vengeance is mine is one of this guy's f- fantasies. He's uh, you know all serial killers have got this superiority complex. And in this one, he gets very biblical on it. He goes biblical on you. Uh, vengeance is mine. He suddenly becomes God, you know. Alice, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. I and love you. You're the best. And I love your playlist. You guys are playing great rock and roll. Thank you. You're, you're welcome here anytime. Thank you. All right. Alice Cooper, here's Vengeance is Mine, 1077 The Bone. 1077 The Bone. Streaming online at 1077thebone.com.